once again to my youtube channel this reflex image and in this video i'll be showing you how to change any background to the color of your choice and also how to manipulate them at the same time here's the result of what you are trying to achieve actually this is the initial background for the picture this was the initial background so i actually changed the color to this and then added an overlay to it to make it look more nice so with no further ado let's jump into action so firstly the first thing we need to do is to remove the model from the background which we actually did i won't be doing that in all my video tutorials you can actually go through all my other videos to see how i do that day so all i'll just be doing is out I'll, I'll be changing the background color and i'll be bringing in the overlay for it to do the manipulation so first thing first after we're done with the background remover here is my model on a separate layer and here is here are all the backgrounds while i clean the background i smooth in the background so here's the result of that so the next thing i'll be doing in, doing now is to change my background color for me to do that i just have to go to my adjustment layer here click on it i'll click on my hue and saturation which is right over here i'll click on it so i'm going to be messing with the hue for now i'll change the hue until i see the color i'm looking for i'm going to be changing the hue once I see a color that goes with what I want to do, I think this is kind of okay for now. So if the saturation is small, I can bring it down. If it's not okay, I can bring it up. So I'm going to be leaving the saturation this way for now. So but the issue you're having right now, there's still strands of the brown background showing at the edge of the at the edge of the outfit because most of this outfit is net. So is a these are outfit created with with a net uh, material. So there's no way the, the background has to show through it. So we are going to be amending just that right now. So I'll click on it. I'll click on my model layer, which is right over here. I'll create an empty layer over it. Then I'll click on my color select, color selection. Then I'll sample from the skin, from the outfit color. I'll click on my OK. I'll pick on my brush, make sure it's at 100% opacity. Then I'll increase the size till I see fit. Then I'm going to zoom in, I'll zoom in. Then I'm going to scroll over the area that I want to make amendment to. I'll scroll over this area like this. As you can see right now. I'll scroll over the area. Scroll over it. So I'm going to blend in perfectly with our background. As you can see right now. I'm going to scroll over it. I'll scroll over until I'm no longer seeing the edges again. Scroll over it. I'll scroll over it. As you can see right now. So let's say we're done with that, but as you can see, I did it in a rough manner. I did it in a rough way. You guys will be thinking, what am I doing doing this way? But I'm just going to make a simple adjustment to that. So I'm going to right click on it, then I'll clip it to my model layer. So once I create a clipping mask, it's going to remove all the edges for me. All I just have to do now is just to reduce the opacity so that it's going to blend in perfectly with the outfit. So that being said, now the next thing is for me to bring in an overlay before I start my color grading. So I'm going to zoom out, control minus minus. Then I'll go to where my overlay is located, which is my desktop. Then I'm going to pick it out. Here's the overlay I'll be making use of. I just have to drag into my Photoshop right now. Wait for it to load up. Then I'm going to adjust it to whatever location I want it to be. I'm going to drag it to whatever location I want it to be right now. Okay. Let me say I want it this way. I'll click on my OK. But the issue I'm having right now is it's directly above my model layer so i'm going to drag it down below it as you can see right now so the next thing i'll be doing i'm going to be adjusting it so it's going to fill the entire document i'm working on right now firstly i will rasterize the layer i just brought in now i right click on it then click click on rasterize layer then i'm going to my rectangle marker tool i'll scroll over the area this area like this then ctrl c for free transform i will hold down my shift key then i'm going to drag up as you can see then i'll click on my ok then click on Ctrl D to deselect. I'll do that to this area also. But once I'm doing that to this area, I'll make sure it's not touching this straight line over here. So I'll make sure as much as possible I avoid it. Then Ctrl T for free transform. Hold down my Shift key. Then I'm also going to drag down. Okay. Ctrl D to deselect. As you can see right now. But the issue is that why we brought it in is not giving us the shadow. That's the foot shadow and everything like that. So we are going to make amendment to that also. You're going to change the blend modes as you always do from normal, we change it to soft light. As you can see right now, click on our OK. Ctrl D to deselect. As you can see right now, we've actually created a color similar to the 
outfit she's wearing especially this put aspect right now which you done a perfect job so far but the issue is that the background actually came with its own color and sometimes the color might, might, might affect what you are doing the entire document right now so you just have to click on your control u on the overlay you just brought in control u then you bring down all the saturation as you can see right now why we bring down all the saturation is actually blending in with the color of the outfit which you actually want from the initial get go so we just have to click on our ok that being said the next step is for you to start color grading which you know what i love is the most but let's go on a short break we'll come back in the next one minute so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lot this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice welcome back so before we continue this picture was actually taken by pixura photography you can actually go to his instagram page and check his page out this guy has done a hell of a job over there so you can just follow him also and also don't forget to follow me on instagram also to stay updated about my new post and you can request for a video for me or, or of me if you need any video you want me to work on any picture any viral picture you don't know how to do you want me to create a video on that i can actually do that for you guys so no further ado let's start to our color grading now so for to color grade the entire document firstly i'll just have to go to my uppermost layer the layer that's at the top of all the layers then i'm going to click on my clicker marker tool which is the second to have over here then i'm going to hold down my shift key i'll circle around the major area of my model which is the face to the chest maybe to the also the new part then once i circle around it then i'll just have to hold ctrl shift and i to invert my selection i'll just go to my adjustment layer click on my solid color make sure i feel it 100 black okay now I just have to click on the feather on the max over here once i click on the max it's going to bring up my property bar for me over here but if it does not bring up the property bar you just have to come to your window on that window look for the property here is the property well, once you click on it it's going to display this way for you so right now i just have to increase my feather to about 600 or so okay 646 then i'll click on my okay next thing i'll just do right now is just to reduce the opacity of the blackness i just brought in which is this boom that's that's for the first step of the color grading the next step is for we to bring in our favorite lot which is our mela chocolate so i just have to go to my adjustment layer click on my color lookup click on the 3d lot and i'll scroll down to where my mela chocolate is which is over here i'll click on it as you can see it gives us a nice dark skin tone image it's even that in the background for us this is my best skin tone so far i use that in most of all my picture while i do manipulation because it harmonizes all the colors together for me and if this is too much you can just decide to bring down the opacity a little bit until you see it okay i think still it is okay then i'll click on my okay the next thing is for me to color grade the final step which is the skin but i'll be using both the skin lot also for the background i won't be cleaning off any area so i'll still go to my adjustment layer again i'll click on my color lookup then click on load 3d lot again then i have to scroll down i'll scroll down then i'll click on my natural color boom automatically it's going to give us a nice skin tone but i think this color is a little bit too much we just have to bring down our opacity bring it down to about 58 is okay then i'll click on my okay so i think you've done a nice manipulation so far so now let's group everything together and see that before and before and after so here is a before before and here is a after 
yeah either before and yeah either after so that's all this video guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial one love